Hello everyone, I'm Noor and I'm presenting gaze embeddings for zero shot image classification. This is a joint work between me and Zeynep Akata, Bernd Chile, and Andrea Spilling. Lack of label training data, namely zero shot learning, is challenging. Approaches uses object discriminative attributes, which are annotated by experts. It's a costly process, especially for fine grained collections, where visually objects are very similar. We suggest that a notator doesn't need to uh, uh, name the attributes, and it's enough if they gaze through the image. It's an implicit and can be done by novice users. We argue that gaze data is class discriminative, and we learn a compatibility function between image features and gaze embeddings. One of our main contributions is our data collection, where we show two different classes and let the annotator explore the differences and then reset the gaze to the center and show an instance of the two previous classes and ask them to which class it belongs. We extract four types of gaze features from each point. First, the location on the image and the duration of the point, sequence information represented by angles, and the pupil diameter, which can indicate the focus level of the participant. We built three types of pair class gaze embeddings. First, by overlaying a spatial grid on the image and simply counting the gaze points in each grid cell. Or by averaging the gaze features on grid cell level or by simply concatenating the gaze features of subsequent points. And since we collect our data from different participants, we argue that combining them has complementary information. So we do that in three different ways. First, by averaging per class participant embeddings, or by concatenating them in early fusion way, or learning separate model from each participant embedding and averaging their classification score before making the final prediction in late fusion fashion. Our results on subset of birds shows that gaze features with sequence has the best per performance, which indicate that sequence information helps more than spatial information. Also, comparing different gaze features shows that as annotators become familiar with the categories, their concentration drops, and thus adding the pupil diameter doesn't help the improving performance. Finally, we compare to different baselines, the random points in the images, and also bubble, which is uh, ran, uh, mousey clicks data collected from the, from the crowd, imitating the gaze data, and bag of words extracted from Wikipedia pages describing each category. We see that bag of words performs the best, but also bubbles improve over random points, in supporting our intuition that novice user can find discriminative regions. Also, our gaze outperforms attributes, the state of the art with a small set of classes, and in combining it with attributes improves the results, which indicate that it has complementary information. Thank you, everyone. And if you want to know more about our work, please come to the poster number one.